everybody, how you doing? It's a continuation of last week. Last week we made our marble dust mixture and this week we're actually going to prepare our masonite board. have the ability to really beat it up you could do something like add uh, an underpainting you could sandpaper it you could uh, you could gesso over it several times you couldn't do that with paper so these are the tools that you're going to need for the second part and that is this roller brush a little paint pan they're really cheap you need sandpaper and you're going to need a glass of water in case you get thirsty. Okay. Okay, I'm back. And so is my cast shadow right there. But I bought these lights in there. It's kind of like the sun. I have two small lights over there. It does absolutely nothing compared to it. It's like a thousand watts or something. Anyway, I digress. So, we're going to go over here. And this is our marble dust mixture we did last week. And what we're going to do is just remix it in case any of the marble dust and gesso separated. And we're going to take our marble dust mixture, put it in our pan. Not too much, just enough to coat the bottom. Now for our first application. We are going to do it vertically. Very important. Remember, vertically first. We're going to do a total of three coats. First coat's going to be vertical. Second coat is going to be horizontal. And third coat is going to be vertical again. You want to make sure you covered everything, okay? There we go, first coat is done, and now we're... Intermission, una ardilla in el campo. Oh my god, I'm getting them. Me too. He's frozen. <laughs> Hi. So okay, so this is what it looks like. And we're going to take our sandpaper and we're going to look for any little globs or imperfections and just very lightly sand it. So it has a uniform. You don't want to sand it too hard. You sand it too hard, you're going to get rid of the texture, and the texture is the most important part of this because if you sand down the texture, it's like you didn't even just load a board. And we are going to do it vertically. Distribute the gesso evenly. No streaks. We are done with the application of coat number two. Intermission number two, El Paisaje. So you start off here, right? Then you move slowly. Okay, we're back and check and see if it's dry. Very nice, it's not cool to the touch. And it looks like we're ready for our second inspection. 
check if there are any imperfections anywhere. Remember, you want to do this when it's dry. You don't want to do this when it's wet because when it's wet, you're just going to tear up the surface and you might as well just, you know, start over. There we go. So it's very nice. Pour just a little bit more. Now, why do you think we're doing vertical, horizontal, vertical? Sort of a crisscross, and the reason why you want to do a crisscross is you want to make sure that you cover every area of the panel itself. If we're just doing it up and down, up and down, maybe the way our hands go, or maybe there's an imperfection in the actual roller, you could get maybe a pattern. You want to make sure there are no patterns in this at all. You want it to be a uniform surface. You want it to have a uniform texture. So that's why, you know, the sandpaper comes into play and doing it one way, then the other, then the other way. Okay, so now we are ready for our final coat. And you can see this time it is becoming a beautiful, opaque white. It is working out beautifully and it will work out beautifully for you as long as you follow my step by step and if you have any questions please leave a comment. I'll be very happy to answer any questions. Let me know how it came out. So we got this taken care of and I'll be right back to tell you what's next. Okay, we're all set. Looks like it's totally dry, not cool to the touch anymore. We're going to look for any imperfections. Ready to accept many layers of pastel. Uh, I'll tell you, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And once you start using this, I can't imagine anyone going back to paper. So thank you very much for joining me in my studio once again. Please subscribe to my channel here. Please comment. And I would have to say I'm going to do something interesting this week. The member who gives me the best comment, I should say, or uh, I'm just going to send this board to them. So. Hope to see you next week, and thanks again for coming to my studio. Take care.